Okay, YouTube, this is JL Chambers82, and uh, today I thought we'd do a uh, game view. It's about time for another game view, anyway. Uh, obviously, this is going to be uh, Sega Saturn, and I do have the ST key plugged in, and the game that we are going to be looking at today is uh, Castlevania uh, Dracula X for the Sega Saturn. Now, um, this game in Japan is actually called uh, Dracula X. Uh, it translates into Nocturne in Moonlight, I believe. And anyway, uh, this is, I thought, when, when I purchased this uh, back in the day on eBay, I thought I was getting around like a cheap version of uh, Rondo of Blood. I did not have a uh, PC Engine uh, CD-ROM 2, and I did not have a Turbo Graphics. Uh, with the CD attachment and the uh, necessary adapter, and uh, back then Rondo of Blood was going online for for anywhere between two hundred to three hundred dollars. So yeah, there has been a price drop now that that's been released on PS uh, PSP. But um, I really thought I was getting a, a cheap way around it, and I was super excited. Paid a lot of money for this port, and it turns out no, this is uh, actually the Sega Saturn port of Symphony of the Night for PlayStation One, which came out I believe in ninety seven. And uh, anyway, if you're a Castlevania fan, this, in my opinion, of all the Castlevania games I've played, I have not played Rondo of Blood, so I haven't played all of them, this is by far my favorite. It's uh, not necessarily the Saturn port, just Symphony of the Night in general, by far. Uh, one of the best games, in my opinion, of all time. Best platformer, definitely, hands down, that I've ever played. Uh, the uh, art's amazing, the uh, sound's amazing, and uh, anyway, we're going to go ahead and get it started just because, you know, we'll be short on time, but, uh, yeah, this was not released in America on the Sega Saturn. You had, um, you know, it was ported in Japan, and it is a port, so that's important to note out because, um, the actual initial designer of the game did not like the Sega Saturn version at all. Uh, it was, uh, you know, when it was released for, uh, the PlayStation, uh, you could only play as Alcard. And uh, I remember renting the game back in the day. I never owned it, <clears throat> but I worked at a video store at the time, so I was able to rent it whenever I wanted to. And uh, yeah, the music, graphics, everything. It's everything Castlevania should be, and it's its just an amazing, amazing platformer. But uh, this is a port, and what I mean by that is like they didn't take advantage of the uh, advanced 2D, ca 2D capabilities of the Saturn at all. Uh, you know, they just kind of ported it on over. And uh, some people love this version, some people hate it. I think, you know... I remember the PlayStation being a little sharper, more high res, I guess, as far as the graphics uh, around the characters and around the objects. But you probably, from this video, you won't really notice a difference other than the fact that you can be different characters. But it is in, J in, in Japanese, so there is no translation. So we're just going to go ahead and get this started. And I'm, you know, going to just pick a new slot here. And my name can be J. And here's the cool part you can pick from Richter. Uh, this is a sequel to Dracula X, Rondo of Blood. So uh, you can actually choose to be Richter without any kind of code. You could be Alucard, who is uh, the principal character in the PlayStation version in Symphony of the Night. Or you can be Maria. And uh, that's really cool because I, I think all these characters are accessible after you complete the game or if you have a code on PlayStation. But... In the Sega Saturn version, they came, you know, standard. So, I like the whip, man, so I'm going with Richter. As cool as Alucard is. I don't think I've ever played the game as Maria. But the reason I really dig this game is the fact that... Um, it is... Uh, you know, it, it, it's got a lot of, like, the, you know, Castlevania 2, Simon's Quest has a lot of negative uh, feelings about it. Um, this does have some role-playing elements, which is really cool. And uh, forgive me, I don't remember all Richter's special moves and everything, so... Let me just kind of play in this basic. Yeah, that's pretty cool. If you remember, when you play the game as Alucard, you actually play the last level of, uh, of, uh, Rondo of Blood. But we're just gonna dive right into this as Richter. Oh, shit. Sorry, guys. 
But music on this game, today, even today, is still one of my favorite soundtracks of all time. I mean, just look at this game, the artwork, everything. This is everything Castlevania should be. Um, if Rondo of Blood is better than this, then I'm in for a real treat when I finally uh, purchase it. Because now I do own a PC Engine and a PC Engine cd -ROM. So that is something that is on the list. I mentioned that in my uh, Castlevania Bloodlines uh, game view. But, yeah, I mean... Um, to me, I mean, if, if you were trying to say that one's more superior than the other, I mean, you'd have to put these things side by side and really scrutinize the gameplay and everything, the, the graphics and the mechanics. But, uh, let's see if I can make it over the water. Last time I couldn't in Bloodlines. And I died all the time. But, you know, I'm just here to show you the game. I'm not here to, to be the pro, because I'm not. Oh, God, look at that. He died horribly. And just like the PlayStation, yeah, you have to get through the whole load thing again. But it's a little bit different intro and everything than you know with other card and everything. It kind of, it's very similar to from what I've seen screenshots of the uh, of Rondo of Blood. You know, it's very similar. Only you didn't fight death. You know, you went right to the castle. So let's let this restart. And uh, since we didn't play. As um, I've never played as Maria, I'm going to do that now since so Jay's good enough. Let's see what Maria's got going on in this, you know. And there are special moves that you can pull off with these guys that um, I God, I wish I remembered them from PlayStation One, but I don't. Um, and unfortunately, I uh, can't read Japanese, so I can't translate. So here's Maria's intro. Let's see if it's any different. Cool, just a little projectile. But well, it's pretty weak. Everyone knows when you play this game the first time as Alucard, it's just you're just like a complete badass. Oh, she kicks too. Cool. But yeah, I mean by far this is one of my, you know, favorite platforming games of all time, and I do really want to get a PlayStation 1 and really focus on playing this game again and try to finish it, because I never finished it back when I used to rent it all the time. I just used to, you know, kind of fuck around with it, and, you know, I'd play for a few hours, and the the, the, the maps, as many people have, have talked about in the game, it's very reminiscent of uh, Metroid. Like, you have, the map is part of it. Oh, it sounds like she's a, a little bit different soundtrack, a little techno here. I like it. Dig it. Let's see. Let's kick some zombies. Let's just see what happens. Ooh, cool. Alright, there's a little special move action for you guys. But uh, overall, the Jap this game, you know, like I said, I wasn't disappointed when I bought it. I paid a lot of money for this. Like, I'm embarrassed to say how much I paid. And like now, looking on eBay, like, it's not going for as much. Um, I think I paid around $120 for this copy. So, that's what I get, I guess, for trying to be cheap and not get the, the PC Engine version. But I'm glad I have this version, and it'll be even cooler, you know, once I have uh, all of them. Because that's, that is one of my goals, is to have the complete Castlevania. Oh, she kind of jumps twice, that's cool. Uh, complete Castlevania series. Um, I played the game back in the day on NES, just the first one. I think my brother might have rented Simon's Quest, but none of us ever finished it. The games were just way too hard, but... Anyway, guys, this is uh, Castlevania uh, Symphony and I for the for the Sega Saturn, which is actually called uh, Nocturne and Moonlight. So, hope you enjoyed the video. And if you get a chance and can pick this up cheap, I definitely would. Uh, but you do need a, a Japanese Saturn or a way to play it, you know, a SD key or something. So, anyway, later, YouTube.